In the vast, sun-drenched plains of the ancient kingdom of Nyambani, there lived a man named Kwame. Known far and wide for his unwavering honesty, Kwame had earned the title, The Man Who Never Lied. His integrity was legendary, and his word was considered as solid as the mountains and as clear as the crystal waters of the river Nyasa. Kwame's journey began in the small, humble village of Umoja, where he was born to a wise and just father and a kind-hearted mother. From a young age, Kwame was taught the importance of truth and honor. His father, a respected elder, often said, a man without truth is like a tree without roots, he cannot stand in the storms of life. Kwame took these words to heart and vowed never to tell a lie, no matter the consequences. As Kwame grew, so did his reputation. His honesty earned him the respect and admiration of everyone in Umoja and beyond. However, his unwavering commitment to the truth also drew the attention of those who saw his integrity as a threat to their power and deceitful ways. One such person was Chief Obafemi, the ruler of Nyambani. Though a powerful and influential leader, Chief Obafemi was known for his cunning and manipulation. He viewed Kwame's honesty as a challenge to his authority and devised a plan to break Kwame's spirit and prove that every man could be made to lie. The chief summoned Kwame to his grand palace, a majestic structure adorned with golden carvings and guarded by fierce warriors. Kwame, the wary, accepted the invitation, determined to face whatever trials lay ahead with his unyielding commitment to the truth. Upon his arrival, Chief Obafemi greeted Kwame with a sly smile and offered him a seat of honor. The palace was filled with nobles, warriors, and advisors, all curious to see the man who never lied. Kwame, the chief began, his voice echoing through the grand hall, I have heard of your legendary honesty. I have decided to put it to the test. If you succeed, you will be rewarded with riches and land beyond your wildest dreams. But if you fail, you will be banished from Nyambani forever. Kwame, calm and composed, nodded in agreement. I accept your challenge, Chief Obafemi. I will remain truthful, no matter the cost. And so, the trials began. Chief Obafemi's first test was a simple one. He presented Kwame with a beautiful, intricately carved box and said, Tell me, Kwame, what do you think is inside this box? Kwame looked at the box carefully and replied, Chief Obafemi, I cannot say what is inside the box, for I have not seen it with my own eyes. To speculate would be dishonest. The chief's eyes narrowed, but he nodded, impressed by Kwame's response. Very well, he said, moving on to the next test. For the second trial, Chief Obafemi took Kwame to the royal gardens, where a rare and exquisite flower known as the moon blossom bloomed only once every ten years. Kwame, the chief said, describe the scent of this flower. Kwame leaned in close to the flower, inhaling deeply. Chief Obafemi, while the flower is undoubtedly beautiful, I cannot describe its scent, for it has none. To say otherwise would be a lie. Again, the chief was taken aback by Kwame's honesty. Determined to break him, Chief Obafemi devised the final, more sinister test. He led Kwame to the dungeon, where a prisoner sat in chains, accused of theft. This man, the chief declared, is a thief. He has stolen from the royal treasury. What should be his punishment? Kwame looked into the eyes of the prisoner, seeing fear and desperation. Chief Obafemi, I cannot pass judgment without knowing the full truth. I must speak with the prisoner and hear his side of the story. The chief, frustrated but intrigued, allowed Kwame to speak with the prisoner. After a long conversation, Kwame discovered that the man was innocent, framed by a corrupt advisor seeking to cover his own misdeeds. Kwame presented his findings to the chief, who grudgingly admitted the truth. With each test, Kwame's integrity remained unshaken, and his reputation as the man who never lied grew even stronger. Chief Obafemi, unable to break Kwame's spirit, reluctantly honored his promise and rewarded Kwame with riches and land. However, Kwame, true to his nature, refused the material rewards. Chief Obafemi, he said, I did not undertake these trials for wealth or power. I did so to uphold the truth and protect the innocent. Let the rewards be given to those in need. Kwame returned to Umoja, where he continued to live a life of honesty and integrity, inspiring all who knew him. His story spread far and wide, becoming a legend that would be told for generations to come. 
but the tale of Kwame, the man who never lied, did not end there. His unwavering commitment to the truth would soon lead him on another, even more dangerous journey, one that would test not only his honesty but his courage and resolve in the face of unimaginable darkness.